Thank you, Mr. Seikel. Uh, good day, distinguished guests, dear colleagues, uh, dear friends. It is a great pleasure for me to present to you uh, the most important achievements and results of three-year project uh, called European Partnership for Action Against Cancer, co-financed by the European Commission. Uh, I will be very brief in my presentation, um, although I could speak uh, for a whole day because we have so many results here. Uh, but to give the floor uh, to our work package leaders who are best suited to explain all the work that were done uh, during these three years. So normally we will start with health promotion and prevention. Uh, as a part of these work packages, uh, various activities were implemented to raise awareness of cancer prevention and the European Code Against Cancer. And to list some of them, uh, they are advisory council meetings, official conference of European Week Against Cancer, youth competition, flash mobs, and other EVAC events. What we have learned from health promotion in cancer area are the few messages that should be taken forward. Some of them is that all these actions should be taken at European and national levels and that they should include as possible a wide range of different stakeholders, for example, from European parliaments to government to schools, etc. The additionally, uh, we have succeeded also to include young people in um, health promotion messages through the poster competition and also through the online social gaming campaign, which was a part of another work package dissemination that I will say a few words later on. The revival of European Week Against Cancer also has been seen as an opportunity for promoting cancer prevention at EU level, and we hope that it will uh, last also after the EPAC itself finishes. Uh, various activities have been carried out in the area of screening and early diagnosis. To list some of them, uh, recent information on health in, on inequalities in participation in cancer screening programs can be reviewed. And further uh, action for uh, this field has been also identified. A consensus document has been reached for quality criteria for health checks, which guides service providers to offer health checks with appropriate information for all patients. Three regional cancer screening workshops were organized, so on breast, cervical, and colorectal cancer, highlighting specific needs of various screening programs. The ambitious task of organizing European schools of screening management has shown that many years of coordinated effort is needed to implement high quality screening programs in, a region, in regions and in a countries that it does not exist. It is important to have international collaboration to exchange experience and share capacities uh, and it can help to improve implementation of these programs. The SSM network plans to expand collaboration also at an academic level in a way that new knowledge obtained with research will be and can be included in the implementation of cancer screening. In the healthcare, an attempt was made to identify and assess best practices across European health services. An analysis of the strategic and organizational determinants of networks of cancer care with a regional perspective was carried out, as well as the models of network cooperation. Networks facilitate multidisciplinary cancer care and rapid access to accurate diagnosis and treatment of cancer. Standard assessment methodology for pain, cachexia, and depression and evidence-based guidelines also have been developed. Important work was done to disseminate and assess pediatric cancer care recommendations and standards, and we had a quite a successful conference on this issue in Poland in 2011. Finally, evidence and use of complementary and alternative medicine were assessed, and criteria for dissemination of appropriate information were already proposed. European partners focused on two areas in the, their work of developing clinical guidelines, and these are nutrition and rare cancers. In the field of nutrition area, 
expert panels and literature review um, constitute the basis for the first draft of evidence-based nutritional guidelines. Then the DELFI procedure was used to refine this draft, and at the end, we have guidelines arising from that work uh, that was disseminated to European cancer care centers. In the second area of work, meaning rare cancers, a survey was performed to map existing networks of rare tumors as well as patient groups. And workshop was held to review current clinical practice and gauge the existing consensus among practitioners. The implementation of clinical guidelines cancer care was also examined with special focus on inequalities. To implement a training strategy to improve psychosocial care and communication skill, a number of partner organizations were involved and they were contributed to mapping exercise on health system resources in psychosocial oncology care, communication skills among healthcare professionals, and psycho-oncology training activities, as well as the existing gaps in need versus capacity. Based on these findings, EPSA, APAC, EPOS, and ECO experts designed a pilot educational program to be tested and delivered as a training workshop for healthcare professionals in a low resource and high needs context. And Romania was selected as a first country for this pilot. Despite the impressive work on cancer research, translating basic discoveries into new and more effective prevention tools, treatments, and diagnostics remains a complex task. Uh, it requires effective organization, coordination, and cooperation among all stakeholders. In these fields, key achievements of APAC were the preparation of the list of scientific priorities for European collaborative cancer research, inventory of procedures and processing cancer research prioritization, creation of a forum of funders, researchers, and other stakeholders, and the initiation of three research coordination pilot projects listed here. The main messages coming from these work packages are, it is important that priority setting is led by scientific community and it is important to involve the widest range of stakeholders as a starting point. There is no one-size-fits-all solution in coordination, the coordination of different areas. It needs to be tailored considering the needs. And at the end, we need strong commitment, we need strong support coming from the European Commission and also other European organizations. My aim of uh, work package on data and information has been to contribute to the construction of a comprehensive cancer information system for the European Union, an essential tool for developing effective public health intervention in addressing health inequalities. The proposal for ECIS was designed and agreed by all participants considering core cancer data. These were coming mainly from cancer registries uh, meaning so, as a source for incidence, survival, and prevalence indicators. Then considering additional data, like mortality data, population files, socioeconomic indicators, etc. And the third place, access to data, so that uh, we have possibility to different stakeholders that they have different access to this data. With final objective to create the grounds for a common call for incidence and survival data, Eurocare, ENCR, and GRC promoted an action aimed at improving and harmonizing cancer registry data collection and quality checks. Two workshops on this issue were organized. A protocol for a new European high-resolution study protocols for main solid cancers were developed to help interpreting differences in cancer survival to compare adhesion to clinical guidelines, to investigate dissemination as well as effectiveness of new targeted treatments, to increase the quality of data collected on stage and morphology. This afternoon, we will hear more about this work package about National Cancer Plan. So just briefly, work on this work package began by circulating, circulating the questionnaire on the characteristic of National Cancer Plans in all member states, Norway and Iceland. 
Programs were analyzed based on their adherence to WHO guidelines for national cancer plans, inclusion of structural and process indicators, and the self-assessment carried out by member states. The structure and context of programs were analyzed comparatively, resulting in a consensus report outlining the current state of art of national cancer plans in Europe. When we talk about the national cancer plans, it is important to closely link the evaluation process to the objectives of the national cancer plans, regardless how ambitious they are. Therefore, we are in the preparation of European Guide on High Quality National Cancer Plans, a sort of cookbook for the future development of national cancer plan that will serve to this purpose giving the guidance for the contents and key elements of national cancer plan. It will have both structure, meaning chapters and sub-chapters, as well as a draft of indicators to monitor national cancer plans. And at the end, dissemination, the important work package. Dissemination team implemented and managed a variety, variety of dissemination channels to list some. Uh, we have web page, social media, the internal com com collaboration tool project place. And in addition to that, we have some specific documents to help or to facilitate communication between partners and also communication with uh, various public, such as gen chart with milestone and deliverables overview, publishing protocol, press clipping, and dissemination activities chart. In order to contribute to the cancer prevention and to improve the partnership visibility, the dissemination team implemented and managed an online social gaming for cancer prevention called I'm a Fan of Life. And this one attracted nearly 17,000 users, uh, mo ma mainly young people. And at the end, uh, I would like to conclude that it was really a privilege to me to work on such an impressive and huge, important joint action which involved really a broad range of stakeholders with uh, exceptional knowledge, motivation, and commitment to work. Since these kind of projects are designed to support one whole area of public health, the results of such versatile approach were several synergies that we discovered during the APAC. In some cases, these synergies occurred naturally because the work packages were connected. In some cases, they were results of enthusiastic approach of our work package leaders. Sometimes we help uh, uh, to find these synergies as uh, adv working together advisory board, uh, project management team, partnership secretariat. I hope that these results can be used for future actions for future projects and activities so that our work is um, like sort of basis how to start and to work even better than we've done. Thank you.